you know, being a YouTube creator, content creator, puts me in a unique position. I mean, unless you are super duper following the channel, like every, watching every video, watching every single, and really, you'd even have to be a member because um, I say certain things in the, the members only videos that are personal um, because I feel, I feel more connected, obviously, with my members than I do the subscribers. They're, they're more invested. They're, they're taking their time out there. They're supporting the channel financially. <laughs> so unless probably the members, um, Eric, Kenai Collectibles, Otis, Sandra, Sheila, and Donald know me better than anybody else. And obviously, if we get any new members, them also. But otherwise, um, you guys don't really know me that well, right? So what I try to do is I try to come up with creative ways to make keep the channel interesting, right? We're talking about pennies right how interesting can pennies be well let me tell you they could be pretty damn interesting and they spark you so only the members get to see the um the scheduled videos so other people who leave who leave comments all you all you other we have over one and a half million views so i can safely say that the millions of others who watch the channel um, are watching scheduled like watching TV, which is fine, right? It's free. I mean, what else can you ask for, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, or what else can you expect or whatever, you know? But the members, we have intellectual discussions about what's going on currently. So, right, like, so yesterday's video, um, episode 220 was this was the second of three this is the third video this is episode 221 and we're doing the third and last dirty penny roll which as you can see this one's a lot cleaner than the other two there's some dirt on it but we'll find out i'm pretty sure it's all from the same person 1999 we're looking for the wide am No white am, no other perceivable errors. Nine, 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 nine. Upside down is the bad one. You don't want to do that. So Eric from Kenai Collective, he was he was my first member. You know. I hope he stays here till the end. I hope all of you do, but you know, he's the first. What do you want me to tell you? You know? And He, him, and the other members, plus a lot of the subscribers, leave comments on what I find in my penny rolls. And that's how I learn, you understand? That's how we all learn. I'm sure Eric must have ways he learns. Most likely, I know he's on top of, like, the new stuff, you know? So, like, he knows a lot about the 2024s, and, um, and he'll pass that information on to me. And he's doing me a huge, huge, all of you are really doing me a huge favor because honestly, I have some time for research, but most of the research I, I prefer to do. Look at that. Look how light it is, but the uh, top of the, the serifs and the uh, elements are very, I'll put that down here. That's an interesting one. Put that down. Um, I get 94. We're looking for uh, doubling on the reverse for a key variety. Um. I'm going to try to do it during the video, right? So it becomes interactive, number one, educational. You can see the process. And um, it's a twofer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to do the research, then come back and, and film the research. Oh, geez, man. 
I'm I'm too lazy for that. I'll be honest with you, man. I ain't got the energy for it, man. You know, I'm getting up there. Anyway. The members and the subscribers. That's our first copper. Oh, wait. Was this a copper too? Yeah, that was our first copper. <clears throat> 92. We're looking for the close AM. That's a wide AM. Anything else going on? So, that's how I learn. And it's fun, right? So, Eric yesterday left a message, a comment, saying that the um, he believes the um, one of the pennies that I found that I talked about that I showed, that I did some research on it, that it is machine doubling. And, and I agreed with, I agreed with him. Matter of fact, I believe in the video I actually said another 92. Uh, no close AM. I think in the video I actually said it looked like machine doubling, but that's why I did the research on it. And I went on eBay and saw what was being, what was selling. There's actually an auction that was up to $8 that I thought mine was better than. And then there was a, um, and then there was a graded, there was a graded coin. And I looked at the graded one. You know what? Yeah, just for the hee hey of it. What was it? It was a 95 DDO. 1995 DDO. I'm going to put MS. I think it was MS condition penny. All right. All right. So there's a bunch of them. So, and, um, and what he said was that it was machine doubling. And so this, so I'm going to show you. And, and then when I, and then we, we spoke, if you look at yesterday's comments, you'll see it. And we spoke about it. Right. So, hey, I'm going to show you. I don't know if this is the one from yesterday's video, but this is how we learn. You understand? This is how I learn. It's so important to have discussion and debate and. Um, and oh, yeah, that's this. Maybe it could be that. That is so important. So let's look at this. Let's look at this penny. FS 101. And that's what I told him in uh, in the comment. I said, well, I I thought that. On Konica Online, they had a lot of the, uh, the you know, the tilted hub errors. And that's what I mentioned to him. And I think his response was something about, you know, I don't even want to. Let me, let me see what his response was. Comments. Comments, comments. Comments. Uh, let me just come down and I'll, I'll find the comment. I don't want to. I don't want to misspeak. You know. Comments. All comments. Okay. Okay. And his comment was right. So here, this is the the whole thing. You could. His comment was. His comment was. Sometimes they have counterman slaps. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Now, of course, I'm not going to go super crazy into this because we could just, um, you could just look up the number, right? I think there's a number. Yeah. So you could look up the number. I doubt this is counterfeit, to be honest with you. It might be, but I doubt it. And that is the DDO, right? So where's the, uh, MS69 red, $1,000. So this is what I went by. I did my research yesterday. I didn't just say it like out of thin air. I did because honestly, when I saw when I saw the coin, I didn't I said, oh, this is machine doubling. But then I went and I found the S, but that's how we learn, you understand? It's so important. So that's one thing, right? That's one thing that happened yesterday. And it was very educational for me, you know, to, to get 
Eric's um, point of view, uh, perspective. That's what I was looking for, perspective. And that's that's what I'm look. That's what I'm looking for. But only Eric and the other four members can do that. When the so it was immediate, right? So he left the message. Oh, look at this. See, that's that's a feeder error. Well, it could be a feeder error. Could be a collar error. You see, it has no rim on that side. I'll put that to the side. <laughs> it's immediate, you know. So I'm gonna. Where am I going with that? So there was, but I do remember the comments that I get from 89. Let me put up the mat again. I do remember the comments that I get from subscribers, of course, and some subscribers are probably another collar error. Well, not really. That just could be um, deterioration from uh, oxidation. You know, the, the clad broke. I eh, forget it. Um, some some subscribers are more present than others. For example, Rosie Key has been leaving comments on my channel for whew, a long time. Man, I mean, may, maybe since the beginning. And there's a way how I could look it up and it'll show me uh, lifetime comments from, from whoever I write their name in. So, she leaves comments on, a lot of comments on the coins that I find. And yesterday, which, which I read today, right? Oh, look at this. That's a nice 82. Let me tell you, that's a nice 82. Someone left a comment about 82, so I'm going to put that one on the side. I'm going to leave that one there as a reminder for my next comment discussion. And she left a comment on one of the pennies that I found from three weeks ago, right? When the video was made. So, one of two of three things can happen. Well, really one of two things. I should, let me rephrase that. All right, here goes another copper. That's a nice one. That's a, at least fine, if not a AU condition. And she said, I should look up her comment. I'm not going to look up her comment. I, I could remember basically what it said. That's a nice 1988 white AM you found there. Now, she did not put in the, um, the timestamp. So I would always suggest, if you're going to reference the penny. So this penny here, right? This, oh, it's a 1988. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, you're going <clears> to <throat> have to have some water. Hold on. I can't believe that. <clears throat> I'm talking about her comment in 1988. And look at the next one that comes up. A 1988, I 100% would have put this into the zinc pile, 100%, even though I'm going to say what I'm going to say right now. Come on. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I looked up the YDM88. And you can't get them for under five bucks, maybe four bucks, whatever. Shipping with shipping. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to Google this. Because now, how, what's the chance of the 198? Now, wide AM pennies. Close wide AM Lincoln collection. All right, so I'm going to. Oh, wow. LincolnCollection.com, close wide AM. The Lincoln Memorial features the word America. Can have a close of wide AM. The A in America, M in America, distance comparison, blah, blah, blah. Interesting is, all right. Okay. 
Okay. In, in 1993, the reverse sign, blah, blah, blah. 1992 cents were produced with close AM designs instead of these are rare and valuable. Yeah, they're, they're 100 bucks, the 92 uh, close AM. The proof coins, 94, 100th anniversary. However, right, the 98, 99, 2000 business strikes were found white AM. Okay. To summarize, the following is normal. Following is normal. Oh, okay. 19, yeah. You want to read it? You can go to um, LincolnCentCollection.com. Summarize. So, in 88, all business strikes and proofs are supposed to have a white AM. Ah. Huh. To summarize, the following is normal. So a 1988 business strike are supposed to have a white AM. The same thing here about 1988. Oh, here, oh, here, here goes. Look, look at this. One more. It says it's about 1988. Look at this. So I'm gonna yeah. One more thing in the 1988 rare alternative reverse from both. The Philadelphia and Denver mints were produced where the A and the M were wide as normal, but the FG initials were close to memorial rather than far as they should be for that year. These are the 1988 coins with the transitional year reverse of the 1989. Holy smokes. This variety has sometimes been unfortunately called the 1988 white AM, even though white AM is normal for that year. To clear this, fill up this confusion, PCGS has now named these varieties as having a flared G. Look, you, do you understand how much information I just went through within the past 17 minutes on this channel? My mind is exploding. So Rosie Key said, nice wide AM. And, and she is, it, it, wide AM is normal. It's the flare G that is worth money. So even though on eBay you see people talking about wide AMs, that's incorrect. Now, what the he hey is a flare G? All, now I got, what's the flare G? Does it say? If all of this is too confusing, then perhaps a better explanation can be found understanding that there are eight different reverse varieties, R R RDVs used on Memorial Sense. These are all listed at Variety Vista. See, see this, 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 it's just a rabbit hole, man. It just keeps going on and on. But what's the Flare G? Flare G, 1980. I want to look that up now. I want to see an example of a Flare G. All right, wide, uh, 1988. And it's funny because I, I saw a Flare G the other day. Flare G, let's go to images. 1988, Flare G. So they would have to show the reverse. 19 views in the last hour. So I guess this is a big thing. Ah. Now, now this is what I thought it was. Look how look how strong that FG is. And is ours that strong? Where is that? I don't know. That looks pretty damn strong. I don't know, man. It don't look like that. I would. I'm gonna put this on the side as uh to look at look it up later but that doesn't look like a flare g to me though that flare that g f g up that g up in the top is really really let me look at this under the loop it is almost not a flare g that so the g here 
you see how it looks like it's it's almost like um almost looks like it has a die chip in it you know like it's filled a filled g they're calling it a flare g i would almost call it a filled g so if you find a, a 88 with a filled g very very pronounced oh and how far away from the uh huh it's pretty far it's pretty far away from the step is that normal let me find another copper here. That's a 96, 92. Let me see if I can find. I mean, it shouldn't really matter. 94, 2000, 14. All right, let's use this uh, 92. Let's look at the G. All right, I mean, it's pretty much the same to me. The one, the one up there is really, really. Yeah, they're both about the same distance away. Huh. Oh, the G. It's the G. It's not the F. Just the G. Uh, I don't know. That's it. Look about the same to me. Anyway, but that G in that one, you can see it looks like it's almost filled in. Okay, so. Whether or not that's the flare G, I have no idea. I would have to look at the PCG one. But my point is that I'm taking forever to get to is that this is how I learn, right? And this is how you learn, right? And maybe this is even how Rosie Key is going to learn. Maybe she, Well, first of all, she's not going to hear this. This video is going to be posted on... Um, It's episode it's episode 221 so it's going to be posted August 30th so about 2 weeks from now that's when that's when uh, this is going to be scheduled only only the members can see this video before August um august 30th only members everyone else subscribers uh casual viewers so rosie key will not be able to, we will not be able to discuss this video for two more weeks unless she becomes a member which i always thought she would become a member because she's very active on the channel so that I don't know that confused i mean really if, if you i understand if if you have if your financial situation is you know you're in dire straits or what have you you know i get it no no uh, white am but if you're going to be involved in a channel where you're gonna you know to me you should become a member you know for five bucks a month you know um i mean i have uh donald god bless god god bless his uh god bless him you know what i mean he hasn't left me one <laughs> <laughs> look at this the uh tilted hub it goes straight through that's pretty interesting i'll put that to the side too donald hasn't left me one member one one uh, comment at all you know and he's he's just here to be oh here goes another one that one's also very strong through it 89 89 89 is a nothing okay wow doesn't that look like an E? It's not. It can't be. It's just damaged. But it looks like an E under the I N. It's not though. I'll put it with the other one. They're kind of similar. Um, so you don't even have I mean, oh man, I have not found a 2009 in weeks. Wow, all right, finally. So um, so obviously you could become a member and not and not you know not be active at all you're just supporting the channel right that's awesome um the rosy key will not be able to we will not be able to communicate now i know that if you if you look at it does show the titles so sometimes you could you could get a, a little bit of an understanding of what's coming it, it'll show like upcoming videos 88 88d i wonder if the 88d is another one with the flare g 
Yeah, look how small that. G Where's the other eighty-eight? Now I don't remember saying anything about. That's interesting. Yeah, they're the same. I'm telling you, that flare G is like it's like a die, it's like a filled in G. I'll keep them both there for the short video. <laughs> um, so, but that's not a big deal. I, I, not that I don't care. I'm just, I'm just making uh, an observation. That's all, you know. She, she left a comment on a video from. So let's say, she, let's say it was a flare G, right? So I'm pretty sure it wasn't a flare G. Um, but that coin is gone. It could be back to the bank by now for all I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, so only the map, but the coin that Eric made a comment on yesterday, it's right here. It's on my desk still. So he made a comment on a coin. It's here. If it's a million dollar coin, hey, hey Jess, that coin's a million dollars. Now, I know I have the, um, even if I put it into the, into, say I put, I put all of the zincs. Right? I mark 83. So when, so that's how it goes back to the bank. It says 83. So you know there's no copper in mine. Zero. But it's right here, right? It's right here on my desk. So if there was an 83, it would be right there, right? So I could just go through the roll and find that million-dollar penny. But a, a million-dollar penny from two weeks ago, I probably wouldn't even be able to find. That'd be SOL. So, but Eric is... A key part of the channel. He's very active. He's very knowledgeable. He challenges me. He gets me thinking. Um, Rosie Key is also important, but she we can't communicate. She can't see videos for two weeks later, so it does it does change the dynamic a little bit. Um, and she won't be able to see my response. Like th she won't be able to see this video where I respond to her comment from two weeks ago for another two weeks. But that's just the way it is. So, comments, members, subscribers are an intricate part of the, the show. You guys and girls are an intri intricate part of the show. Someone left a comment yesterday about 1982s. And he said that, oh, uh, this one is misaligned. How about both sides? No, just one. It's a misaligned die. And he said that they're harder and harder to come by and that people are now not, it was another 88. I can't believe this. All these 88s now all of a sudden. Wow. See, they're all white AM. So when she said that about white AM, that's a nice white AM. What she should have said was, oh, that's a flare G. Now look how weak that FG is on this one. But it could be because it's dirty and the way the... Um, but we now we have 388s to look at. Yeah, none of them are flared. I, but I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do, I'm going to go a little deeper into that because I really want to know now about 1961. This is a bronze penny. We have a bronze penny in the house. And kudos to that website, man. LincolnCentCollection.com, man. Kudos to you, brother. What a really, really nice... And what is the other thing? The collectible coins are those that deviate from the norm in the year the coin was minted. The 1988 cent of interest normally struck with a VD, a VD, an RDV 005 instead of, instead were produced with the 1989 RDV 006 die. Oh, they even know the dies, man. This is how deep these people get. The 1992 cent of interest normally struck with the R. DV006 instead were produced with a 1993 RDV007 die. So that's why they're so 
The other coins of interest listed above were either business strike coins struck with a proof die or a proof coin struck with a business die. Uh, you see, this this is. I should put this guy's. Uh, I don't know, homepage. I'm gonna. But I, what I want to do is I'm definitely going to. Um, I'm gonna fate. I'm gonna whatever that's called. When you put the. Uh, What's it called? Bookmark it. Definitely going to bookmark it. Okay. So what were we looking at? Oh, the 61. Yeah, that's nice. Somebody's going to get a nice copper. Bronze penny. So that's basically the story for... For this show today, hey, we got a Canadian. Nice. These are gone. They don't even make pennies anymore, right, in Canada? No more pennies? Cents, whatever you want to call them. Wow. <clears throat> so... Eric, Rosie, Key, you know, all you all you guys and girls, you go, you teach me something, right? So let's say there's, I don't know, I mean, really, it's only a handful, right? We got my members, five, Otis, um, Donald, Sheila, and Sandra, and Eric. And then we got, you know, this, the uh, avid subscribers like Rosie Key, and maybe another 20 or 30 subscribers that are, 1998, looking for the white AM, no white AM, who are, you know, invested into the channel, who support the channel with comments and the like. So the other million viewers, right, get that information. You understand how important that is? From 20 or 30 or 40 people passing information on to me, I get to pass it on potentially to millions. Shh. How awesome is that, man? 97. So, to end, so what, am, what do I do with this information? Because the mats are limited, right? 97, we're looking for the double ear. The mats are limited with their information. This is a very nice, um, this is probably a, uh, a clad era. Very pretty. The information is limited on the mats. So what, do I, what, do I, what, what am I starting to do? I like the mat, you know, it's kind of cool. I am using paint, uh, excuse me, the paint application on the computer to put the what's not there. So if there's a, for, so for example, I put, I actually put 1988 wide AM on the mat, but now I have to change that to 1988 flare g right okay obviously the 1982 copper denver small date you know it's, you're talking about ten thousand dollars 89 or more i don't know so i don't i don't even need to put that there if i find that yo you hear me going bananas but the flare g now so i'm gonna put that on the mat and it's going to take me months and months and months of looking up on the mat for that to become like I know the the even the 98 99 2000 I remember for a while I, I thought it was also 2001 oh here's a 98 no white am that's a 10 20 dollar penny 95 if there's any doubling on the obverse it's a key variety
But I want to say a big thank you to Eric, to Rosie Key, to Otis, Sandra, Sheila, Donald, for helping the channel out, helping me out. I want to say a big thank you to you guys and girls. Um, and of course, to all of the cashiers and tellers at the banks who, you know, provide the channel with its pennies. So thank you very much, all of you. That this would not, you know, the, the channel would not be the same without your valuable input, information, guidance, and education. And um, thank you, and God bless, and I'll see you in episode. This is 221. I'll see you in episode 222.